Hello, beautiful people of the internet. It's Izzy. And I was thinking, since last week I covered 2024 fashion trends that I know I will not be wearing, I figured that this week I can talk about trends that I would wear. Also, I just want to take a second to thank you all for 500 subbies. Um, honestly, it doesn't sound like a lot, but I know that eventually that 500 of you will turn into a thousand or two thousand or who knows how many. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just want to thank you and I appreciate you guys. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so starting off, the first fashion trend would be colorful tights. These are honestly so cute. I like how people pair them with, you know, skirts and it just really brings a little something extra to the outfit. So yeah, I personally can see myself wearing these and if I get bored with an outfit, I can just throw on colorful tights and I'll be like, okay, yeah, this is different. I like this because sometimes I just get so bored, you know, with my black leggings. And the next trend would be mixing metals. I honestly, I don't know, I think this was my mom, but I remember being in elementary school and she would say gold and silver do not go together. And I'm pretty sure she learned that from somebody else. But I honestly, I don't know why this wasn't a thing sooner but gold and silver they don't look bad together i don't know who came up with that i personally i don't see anything wrong with that i think it was just so cemented into my brain that it looked bad so i never even considered it as an option but now that everyone's doing it, it really opened my eyes and i'm like wait this is actually super cute um so i can totally see myself doing this i love how people are doing it with chunky bracelets necklaces and earrings also i've seen pictures on pinterest of these plain bracelets and hoop earrings and i don't really personally i don't really like the way it looks i love how when people mix metals it has different shapes different colors i don't like just plain and talking about chunky bracelets i love a maximalist jewelry i've been seeing this all over pinterest and i love all the different colors all of the daintiness put together honestly it gives off cool grandma vibes that she just travels everywhere and everywhere she goes she just collects jewelry and she just wears it all at once and i love it but i can totally see myself if I had the money. <laughs> Next, this color has been absolutely popular since I don't even know when, I think 2023, but the color red. Um, I, I don't know what it is about the color red, especially when it's wine red. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I just love this trend. I don't know, it kind of makes you feel warm inside. I just love seeing this red everywhere i feel like it's a really good accent color it's nothing too bright too neon you know and it just it really just brings something to an outfit honestly i feel like it might have started because of coquette um and lana del rey you know red sunglasses red lipstick that sort of thing i feel like a lot of companies they saw the red being super popular so they kept with it and they're like hey let's make something more trendy you know um so they made the red leather jackets they made red ballet flats and i just ugh, i love it so much it's so cutesy the next trend i want to talk about is a denim on denim and i'm not talking about the 90s and 80s denim on denim i'm talking about more modern more office chic even streetwear it honestly denim it's never gonna go out of style never it's it's timeless having a good denim jacket is essential in anybody's wardrobe i mean you can style it in so many different ways me personally i've been really getting into more denim and i've been honestly searching for i'm wearing pajamas i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm wearing pajama pants i've been searching recently for more denim jackets and i found this one and if you watched my other video i found that one at a thrift store as well and honestly i was manifesting it i was like i want a denim jacket i'm so happy i have my denim jacket and literally my boyfriend was there too and i found two jackets that i absolutely love the next trend honestly i don't see how this went out of style it was popular back in the 
50s, it was popular in the 90s and the early 2000s, and it wasn't really popular in the 2010s, which are capris. And honestly, they slay. I love capris. I found some at a thrift store once, and they kind of reminded me of the Brandy Melville cargo pants. I think that they were called the Kim cargos or something like that. They looked like those, but in capri form, and I absolutely love them. I haven't been able to wear them yet because it's been cold. I don't know I don't understand how they ever went out of style and especially since ballet flaps especially since ballet flats are super trendy right now and me personally they look so good with capris but yeah I've noticed that those were becoming super trendy again and I can totally see myself wearing them the next trend I talked about this in my last video but adidas zambas and gazelles they are honestly so cute. I don't know if you know this, but I am a die-hard Reebok fan. I literally wore my Reeboks everywhere until I got Adidas, and now I wear my Adidas everywhere too. <laughs> like, it's those are my two shoes that I switch off between all the time. I love Zombas. I haven't tried Gazelles though, but they are equally as adorable, and I can totally see myself ordering a pair later on. I don't know if it's just because they're trendy right now or what, but they seem very timeless in my opinion. Um, I don't know if, I don't know, let's say like 20 years from now I'm gonna think the same, but as of right now I honestly can see myself wearing them everywhere, all the time, every day. <laughs> and the next trend that has been super popular has been maxi skirts. I've noticed a lot of people have been wearing them down to the knees and not all the way down to the ankles. So I think that's what's different about them in the year 2024. Knee length or not, I love them. I would wear a maxi skirt all summer if I could or all spring. I just feel like they're perfect for that type of weather. And you can style them in many ways. You can throw on a cute belt. You can put a t-shirt over them or tuck them in you can go for like a little 90s vibe if you know what i mean and i just me personally that's just totally what i would wear and i'm so glad that they're trendy because i'm gonna eat that up <laughs> even if they weren't trendy i'd still be wearing them the next trend i don't even know how to pronounce this let me see oh peplum tie blouses these have been blowing up. I've been seeing them all over TikTok, all over Pinterest, and I'm like, it took me so long to figure out what they were called. And the only way I figured it out was because Ganny was selling that leopard print bow tie type of blouse. And I, these shirts are so cute. I love them so much. So girly, so feminine. And that is what I want to embrace in the year 2024. I feel like I've been so masculine for the longest time. And I kind of just want to spice it up a bit. And these shirts are so adorable. I love them so much. I love how they tie in the front. And they have multiple ties too. And they're also kind of like baggy at the same time. So you don't have to worry about your boobs popping out. That is one thing I hated with those like fast fashion Shein shirts that would like have that one little bow in the front that you would tie. I absolutely hated those back in my fast fashion days. I changed. It's cute. I kind of feel like a Brandy Melville girl, but I don't know. I like it. because they would not hold my boobs in place. I just had a rant, but yeah, these blouses are so adorable. I love them so much. And you can pair them with anything. You can pair them with jeans, with a skirt, with what is, what else is there? Shorts, <laughs> trousers. I feel like they're so versatile and they could go with a lot of things, which that is one thing out of the many that I look for when it comes to shopping for clothes. Would this go with everything? Along the side of peplum blouses, I have noticed that thick collared tops have been popping off recently. And some of them are a little bit extreme, but there are a couple that I'm like, okay, that's cute. That's adorable, I'd wear that. I, I don't know, I think it's really, it, it's really different and it really brings something to the outfit, you know? Um, I can see people selling 
those collars that you would tie in the back to make it look like it would be part of the shirt. It kind of gives off pilgrim vibes, but nonetheless, I think it's super cute. And I can definitely see myself wearing that. But with that being said, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and that you agree with some of the things I like. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe if you liked this video. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in another one. Bye! <laughs>